According to the White House, top U.S. military generals have been instructed by the president that they should stop at nothing to make Afghanistan's ISIS affiliate pay for the 13 U.S. service members' debts. Now, for more on this, we are now being joined by Lauren Sellen, who is a retired U.S. Army colonel, live from Montana in the United States. Colonel Sellen, thanks so much for joining us on Beyond. Now, it's official. The U.S. military has completed its withdrawal from Afghanistan. We've seen videos of the Taliban celebrating. What do you foresee, given your experience in the coming few days, especially in light of the attacks we've seen? Well, I think it, the, the war itself was very badly managed and the evacuation was even uh, more disastrous. Uh, the head of Central Command has admitted that they left behind hundreds of uh, American citizens. That includes also uh, green card holders and Afghans who help the United States who have uh, special uh, visas. Now, there have been multiple reports that I have received that it is not just a matter of uh, logistics, that uh, American officials actually inhibited uh, the uh, evacuation of American uh, citizens. For example, in the last 24 hours, I got a report that uh, four American citizens, and I have images of their passports, a mother who was born in Afghanistan and three of her children who were actually born in Texas. They were escorted to the Kabul airport uh, by the Taliban, no less, and they were refused entry to the Kabul airport to be evacuated by the commander on the ground, General uh, Chris Donahue, apparently under the orders of uh, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, um, Mark Milley. So uh, in my opinion, it's not just a matter of incompetence in this evacuation, it is a matter of deliberate negligence. And I think we can consider now, given the attitude of the Taliban, that these American citizens remaining in Afghanistan should be considered hostages, and the Taliban will take advantage of that. Right. Now, the other big question is the Taliban have been projecting a more moderate image and have allowed women to go to schools and universities while banning co-education. Do you think the Taliban will stick to its promises? No. I don't think they will. I've seen multiple uh, pieces of evidence that they, they have not. They've been executing people. They've been going house to house and executing people. I just saw a video of a, a U.S. Black Hawk helicopter and a man who was hanging by the neck from that helicopter. I fully expect the Taliban to go back to their, their former ways now that they're in full control of Afghanistan again. My final question for you, Colonel. Whatever happened to the safe zone that was mentioned by France, this despite the UN adopting a resolution on Afghanistan? Well, I don't know what the safe zone is. I, the United States certainly has no uh, influence in Afghanistan anymore, and I doubt that any other country does. So I'm not sure what they're talking about when they talk about a safe zone. Right, Colonel. Thank you so much for all your insights, and thank you for joining us on Beyond World as One. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.